Hi Gemini, welcome back. I'm sorry I'm late with your readings. I was going to do them yesterday, but I got drained. All right. Spirit guides, can we please get a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the 22nd to the 26th? What does Gemini need to know in love and romance for the week, the work week, Monday to Friday? Hmm. Thank you. All right, we got the death card and we got the lovers. The chariot and the four of cups. The death card is saying that something has ended. You are in mourning or a huge transition. An old way of being is finished. There is a rebirth and a new beginning. That's why the death card is not seen in a bad way. It's seen as a huge transformation in your life, in the way you are, in love. Or generally, okay? The lover's card, that's you, Gemini. It speaks to, it can speak to making a decision or a choice, but it, this is a love reading and it's saying, this is about love, something that ended and a new beginning. So clarifying this death card is the love card. You got the chariot, which is major arcana. You got three major arcana. This is major, major change. You got four major arcana. Page of swords. So we're going this way, right? This, this, and this. Third major arcana out was the chariot. This is moving forward, being well received. This is adulation cheering, people looking up to you, vir virility. This is going out and getting what you want. Mojo, travel, distance, forward progression. Clarifying this, you got four of cups. So the four of cups is showing a dissatisfaction. Your cup that is being held by the divine you're not even noticing it because you got your hands crossed over your chest and you're angry or upset or all in your feelings and thoughts like melancholy over something that happened. Whether someone you dated and how things played out or um, some kind of community or social situation. It's like having the chariot means you're somebody that, you know, you might be popular, well-received, successful, looked up to, admired. You might have a lot of options because, again, it's very virile. But there, your, your head, your heart is thinking about something that ended and you're not happy. You're dissatisfied with how things ended. Now you got the judgment card, the fourth major arcana that came out. And the judgment card is saying that, you know, this could... It comes up in love when somebody you thought was long gone comes back. Like you see death and then you see judgment like a rebirth. Like waking the dead. Somebody you thought was long gone from your past coming back. So judgment card comes to making a decision and a realization as well. It's called the aha moment, okay, where it suddenly clicks what you're supposed to do. Judgment card is being sure about what you're doing, like a realization. An evolution sometimes or an ascension. Um, the Page of Swords is showing watching, hacking, spying, something like that on someone. Keeping tabs on someone, collecting information on someone. What else is there for Gemini? Six of Wands. Again, this is like the same energy as Chariot, except the Chariot would be like the Fate card version of the, you know, minor arcana, major and minor, in the sense that Six of Wands, instead of being on a Chariot where everyone's cheering, this one is, you know, you're on a horse. So Six of Wands in the more practical, mundane way comes up for like getting a raise, um, Again, being looked up to, admired, right? And, and, and overcoming competition, winning, um, and popularity. Couple goals, like people look up to you. Knight of Coins. 
wanting to go out there now and find somebody that you can build your kingdom with. Find your queen of coins. And you know, there's queen of coins. Pursuing someone, perhaps. Maybe you're keeping tabs on someone from your past and now you want to pursue them. What else is there? The Hanged Man. It's a card of sacrifice. And things not moving forward right now. There's like a pause or a hold. Energy of being stuck or waiting. Nine of Wands. Hurt. Wounded Warrior. Something that hurt you in the past. You have your wall up. Guarding what's yours, vigilantly, feeling like there it's under threat. You worked hard for something and you're protecting it. So you have to like wait on pursuing or taking this leap of faith because you have to deal with some stuff first. All right. The Fool is a fresh start, clean slate, new beginning. And the Tower, it's sudden change. Okay. Shocking sudden change. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, the High Priestess. This is somebody who is extremely psychic, intuitive. Psychic, intuitive, and, and uh, can see, you know, in, see other people's secrets. Deep feeling, very spiritual. Very spiritual. Queen of Cups and the High Priestess together. It's a spiritual female. Anything else? The Wheel of Fortune, Blessings, and the Devil. Oh, somebody's, the Devil's coming back. Emperor. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm done. I, I don't know, man. This this round of readings is just, everything was anger, rage, and bad things. Like, it's, yeah, I don't even, and I'm asking about love readings, so I'm done after this. I can't wait till this round is over. Can we get a card from Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know in love and romance for the 22nd to the 26th? Hopefully this will give us some clarity about the cards. They love you. I love you, it says. These are very important words as love. They love you. The heart of the matter is the children. Okay, kids, there's more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. This is Heart of the Mat. Oh my God, it's that Don Hanley song. India Ari, Don, Don Hanley. You know I'm talking about Heart of the Matter. It's about forgiveness is what it's saying. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else? Anything else for Gemini? Anything else? Interesting. So it's hanging back because you were hurt in the past. Maybe the same person hurt you in the past. Somebody is coming back <laughs> that you thought was long dead and gone. Interesting. Well then. Is Gemini pining for someone? Yes, they are. They're in love. Four of Cups. Somebody that burned them in the past. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. See? I go, somebody that burned them in the past. And look what, looky, looky. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Is that what you're doing? Like, I will not have feelings for this person. They burned me last time. Speak the language. Oh my God, look, it's the twins. It's Gemini. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Look at that. Physical touch is important. 
This is what you want to do. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, Spirit. I was about to get upset with this reading. <laughs> Let's get a crystal for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know for the 22nd to the 26th? What does Gemini need to know? Be kind to yourself. Pink opal. Let's cover that death card there. It's not bad, but yeah. Lepidolite. Recall your dreams. Anything else? Recall your dreams. Be kind to yourself. Are you hard on yourself? You're not allowed to have feelings. You've been hurt, but you have your guard up. You're going to sacrifice your happiness for others with a hangman. Anything else? Anything else? And then we'll move on to a goddess card and leave it there. Any other messages from Gemini for Gemini? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the 22nd to the 26th in Love and Romance. Any other messages? I, these are the cutest cards ever. They're so charming. All right. Overcome your fears. Chrysoprase, allow yourself to receive. Carnelian, feed your creativity. All right, now we'll end it with the last card, which is the African Goddess Rising by Abiola Abrams. Let's get a card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Final card. What does Gemini need to know, please, goddesses? What love message is there for Gemini? Thank you. Nunde Truth. All right. And we've got Nana Baluku Seasons, speaking to change. So let's read Nunde Truth 34. Goddess of Truth from Benin, Temple Griots, Griots, Element Water, Nunde, the bold, outspoken wife of Benin, Iowa, which means deity, Legpa, was feeling neglected by her husband. Even with several wives, his head easily turned. So Nunde lived her truth, took her own lover, and became her own best friend. Her guidance, get real. What is your truth? Truth telling matters. Being able to hear the truth matters just as much. Embodiment, tell the truth. Each person has their own version. Speak yours. Words have impact. Remember that we all have triggers. Think before you speak and listen with compassion. Be gentle and stay calm in truth telling conversations. Goddess declaration, the truth is my friend. All right, with that, that's the end of the reading. I'll be back with your weekend readings and your August readings for the month. Have a great week. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.